Hey everybody, my portion today is to show you a couple different ways to decorate cupcakes. These are the cupcakes that I'm going to show you, but real quick I want to show you the supplies um, in case you want to order some for your own quarantine fun with your family. Um, the baking cups are silicone baking cups, they're supposed to look like flower pots. Go ahead and spray them before you put the batter in, otherwise you're going to have to eat the cupcakes with a fork, that's fine. You can order these online. Um, you'll need piping bags. This is a disposable one because I have about 500 left from Cake Design. I ordered those. Um, and uh, lastly, let me tell you about the tips that we're going to use. This one is a star tip. It's just a big open star. You can make roses with this. Uh, swirls. It's versatile. You can use it on just about anything. This is a leaf tip. I'll tell you more about that. And then this last little one, this is the grass tip. So this one's really fun for kids especially. So I'm about to make those and see you in a second. Okay, this one that we're going to make is a ro little rosette swirl and then we'll add a fondant rose that I made a couple days ago. They have to have time to dry. You can buy fondant at any craft store but um, thankfully Harris Teeter had this. Um, you can hand make it but it's easier to just buy it. You can color it any color you want, but I left these white. So to make a little swirl, we're going to use this star tip and just start in the middle. You don't have to squeeze too hard. Just go all the way around. Stop when you feel like you've done enough. So we've got that little rosette. You can add this fondant rose anywhere we'd like it to go. I'm going to stick it right here. And now we're going to go ahead and add the leaves with the leaf tip and it looks like a V. Um, in order to make the leaf, you need to put the tip so that the points are, um, so that the V, let me think about how to say it, the V is horizontal with your work surface. So put the tip of the tip underneath where you want the leaf to go, squeeze it, stop squeezing and pull the bag away. I'm going to add three to this one, so we'll put it back in, squeeze, stop squeezing and pull away. That's what makes it look like a pointy leaf. And then we'll go ahead and add a third one. So there we go. We've got rosette with a fondant flower and three leaves. This one is very similar to the last one except for the flowers are different. So the other one had more lifelike roses. These are much easier and much faster. These are just little rosettes. So I colored the fondant pink for these and then um, just rolled them out into little lines, rolled them up, and now we've got these little rosebuds. Um, they're fun and they're fast, and kids loved them, love them because they can just roll out snakes and roll them up and cut them, and there you go. So we're gonna do the same thing we did before. Start on the inside, swirl it around, stop when you've made it all the way around. It doesn't matter if it's perfectly even because when you place them you put it so that the side you want people to see is on the front. So now I'm just going to put the rosebuds on. I'm going to put them towards the middle and they in order for you to hold them they need to kind of have some stability here. A rosebud doesn't normally look like this so you are able to push it down into the icing so it looks like this. Going to add some leaves just like we did before. You can add more this time, and you can even have them angled more straight up and down. They don't have to just be flat. You can do as many as you want. I'm just going to do a couple. Maybe I'll add one more under here. And there you go rosette with rosebuds. The last one I'm going to show you is fun for everybody, um, whether you've made cakes a lot of times or whether you've never done it before. Kids really love this one because it's super easy and really fun and there's really no way you can mess it up. We're going to use a grass tip. Um, you'll recognize it also kind of looks like those extruders that we used to play with, um, with Play-Doh um, for making hair or spaghetti or whatever. Um, it's the same idea. So the way these work is you have to hold the bag straight up and down so or you can hold the cupcake at, at an angle so I'm gonna do that 
So you just start squeezing, and when you're done, pull up, and there's your little tuft of grass. We're gonna. This next part is sped up so that um, we're not here all day, but the main thing to remember when you use the grass tip is to hold it straight up and down, and when you're done piping the grass, lift it straight up. If you pull it across, it takes the details away, and it just looks like a mess. So um, just add as much as you want, and when you finish, you'll be good to go. These little rosettes that we had before, I'm gonna stick those in the middle, wherever you want them to go, it's fine. And lastly, we'll add leaves one more time with the leaf tip, which by now everybody remembers in order to make the leaf, the points have to be um, parallel with your work surface. So we'll start squeezing, stop. If you have a weird gap, you can kind of hide it by sticking leaves in there. Or not. The good thing is, no matter what you do, it's fine. They're all going to look a little bit different. They're all going to have their own personalities. And they'll be delicious and everybody will love to eat them.